Hey everybody, this is Paul. So a while back I made a 12 video playlist on logarithms and recently somebody asked me on the seventh video where I basically outlined this property they asked me why we would even use this property instead of just using the methods that I outlined in video one and two. So I'm going to show you a situation where you would want to use this property rather than the uh, property that I kind of explained in the first couple videos. So this property right here is useful when we're dealing with a problem kind of like this. What if we had 3 plus the logarithm base 2 of x and if that equals something like the logarithm base 2 of 5. So if we wanted to figure out what x was to make this statement true we can use this property right here. So the first thing to realize is we basically want to have some base number raised to some power that's a logarithm that basically has the same base in the logarithm as the number base that we're dealing with. So basically what we're going to do is we've already said that this side equals this side. So we're basically just going to take some number and we're actually going to choose 2 for our number because basically we're going to have 2 be this base right here and we've already got 2 as our base of our logarithms. So basically if I was to write the statement 2 equals 2, that would be a true statement. And then we already said that this equals this over here. So that means that 2 raised to this power, log base 2 of 5, is also equal to 2 raised to all of this stuff, since we said this stuff equals that stuff. So this would be 2 to the, let's go ahead and give myself some room here, 2 to the 3 plus log base 2 of x. So basically, since this equals this, we've got the same power here, and then 2 equals 2, so we have the same base raised to the same whatever this stuff equals, basically. So now what we can do is we can use this property right here on the right-hand side right away. So we have a base of 2, and then the logarithm's base is 2. So basically, this side equals whatever's in the argument. So the argument is 5, so the right-hand side equals 5. Now the left hand side we've got to use a, a property of exponents here. So if we have some base, we'll just call it a, and if a is raised to the, let's just call it x plus y power, we can rewrite this as a to the x times a to the y. So applying this property of exponents to what we have over here, this becomes 2, so 2 would be our a in this case, and then our x could be the 3, so this would be 2 to the 3 multiplied by a to the y. So 2 to the y would be the log base 2 of x in this case. So 2 to the log base 2 of x. So now we have 2 to the 3, which is 2 times 2 times 2. Basically just 2 multiplied by itself 3 times. So 2 times 2 times 2 equals 8. And then that's multiplied by 2 raised to the log base 2 of x. Well, this part right here is once again in this form here. So we have 2 as our base, and 2 is also the base of the logarithm. So basically this right here is equal to whatever the argument is by this property right here. So this part right here simply becomes x. So now we have 8x is equal to 5. So then if we were just to divide the left and right hand side by, by 8, then 8 over 8 cancels, leaving us with x on the left-hand side, and x equals 5 over 8. So basically, that is our solution here. So what this is saying now is it's saying that if we take 3 and we add it to the logarithm base 2 of 5 eighths, since x equals 5 eighths, it should equal log base 2 of 5. And I went ahead and just uh, already plugged this in on my calculator. And you can actually use the uh, change of base formula that I showed you guys in lesson four to basically uh, solve this and make sure this is equal. But if you were to use the change of base formula and you were to plug the value 5 over 8 into what x is here, since x equals 5 over 8, we'll just write that over here since we solved it now. So basically, this part right here, I went ahead and did the change of base formula on my calculator. And I found that this part right here was negative 
six seven eight zero seven one nine zero five one and that's equal to I plugged this on my calculator using the change of base formula and I found that to be two point three two one nine two eight zero nine five and then we just add the three to whoops kind of sloppy there sorry about that still kind of sloppy oh well that's fine so basically three added to this number if you were to basically just plug that into your calculator you would find that the left hand side is equal to the right hand side so once again I solve these by just using the change of base formula and by plugging that into my calculator and you can see how to use the change of base formula in lesson four but basically that was an example of when you would want to use this property right here so by using this property we were able to manipulate this original equa equation with the the x in here and solve that x had to be equal to five over eight for this statement to be true so anyway thank you guys for watching uh... i hope that uh, makes sense and uh... Feel free to let me know what you guys think about this in the comments, and uh, you guys have an excellent day, and if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe.